Oh, you can go landscape now on what? YouTube. Cool. Because every time it always say you have to go in portrait. I wish good Instagram then. would let you do that. Yeah, it's annoying, Instagram isn't it? Is annoying, like, oh, and then when you get copyright now as well, and oh. It's non-stop. I always get more That's people on. That's why I changed on. to a, another site called You Now for my when I do a live on a Friday. But the only trouble with that is that other people have got a download. Classic the app. bricks. Who's that? I don't even know. I might do, but he might change his YouTube name or something like that. Who's that? Classic bricks. Try and make it go a bit higher. I like that you can extend this on this. That's a good driver actually. It's not too big. You can extend it very, very far. <laughs> Remember at Chris's, I extended it where it can go like almost up to the ceiling. Oh, good. What's your guy, Janix here? Here we go. Yeah. Come That's on. That's always the first, he's like the first one to join. Yeah, I know. When you see Brandon. I'd like to race my Cassata against his. You I'm okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Janik. Yeah, I'm good. How's the WD62 doing? No. Yeah, I'm good. You can finally go like this way. Pretty good wash action, that's not really. He's doing well, he said. Oh. Yeah, it says you, you says you can't do it in that way now, though. Weirdly. The load was hot and dry after drying in the WD sixty two. It's good at drying. Hang on, hot and dry doesn't don't they do like a ten minute cool uh, cool tumble though? That's one thing I wish I had in my collection was a washer dryer. That's what I've, I've wanted a washer dryer for. Oh yeah. I got. I'm one of those people that think washer dryers are better than washing than having. But then again, it is nice to have a matching set. Yeah. Only downfall is stupid heat. Shitty thing. Heat. No. Stupid heat. The only thing I have a downside about these machines is when they're on balance, they skip to the next ring rather than stopping or rebalancing. That's the only thing that I do get annoyed with these machines. Oh, my Samsung takes multiple, multiple, multiple and attempts. It will spin, isn't it? It will spin and then cut off if it's on balance. It, 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 it does. It, it can skip a spin, but it, it, I think it's about like, I think 50 or this something, 60 tries or something. Yeah, same with this one. I've done a bar flat in this machine once on the cotton cycle and it just refused to spin it. But it adds an extra rinse, it adds an extra rinse to it, it skips. But it took like 30, 30 attempts to balance it, it was... Ah, oh, here we go, distribution tumbles. Oh, is it? I can tell when it is. See if I can tell when... Oh, I can enable flash. Oh, here we go. There you go, so spit or spin clean tumbles. There you are. And it will, oh. do, it will do this throughout to the end of the... It doesn't quite... Oh, that's brilliant. Reach, it doesn't quite reach distribution tumbles, but it just about... Oh, it'd be cool if you try and get the classic chug back as well. Yeah, when I'm in Australia, because I'm just all I'm gonna do with the hose, I'm just gonna throw the hose on the floor and let it drain out into like onto land or so. I won't or into a gutter. It's because you might want to see the hose behind it. Was it kinked a bit it's or something? Jam right up against. Oh, the that's that's that could that could um make stop it probably from doing that as well. So the it? hose can't. Swim yeah. Really. That, that might be a possibility why it's not chugging. When we first had the machine put in, the first time they switched it on, it chugged. The first time they plumbed it in, it was going chugging, 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 chugging. Yeah. Doing that the first time they got it. I like the classic Miele chug. Yeah, I don't I don't think the models do it now. The W ones. Or yeah, they do. They, they still, do. yeah, they, yeah, they, oh, they, I, I think, that. I think they still have the same pumps or something, yeah. They have two now. They have one for the power wash and one for the drain, that which is that special jet that. Oh, like the jets. Like yeah. The jet system. Yeah, yeah it's it has a specific pump for recirculation it. Recirculation pump. But it's good because if something gets in it, you can clean that out as well. I was wondering that when I opened it, why it's got two pumps. I yeah. About. Yeah, the first time I it, I was like, oh my god, it's got two filters, and, I, and then I've researched and I noticed it's because One thing of. I like with these machines is having a filter. Because yeah. If I get something stuck in the hot point, I've got to go around the back. Yeah, that's the only problem out. with these, isn't it? 
or God forbid, a coin gets into the drum, you got to take the whole front panel off. I always sheet. clean it every month on our one. Always, yeah, every do. single month. I do every time I do a towel wash. Yeah. And I just let the water go all over the towels, and that's it. A British art foundation. Some of the things that have come out of those pumps. Oh. I found I found a broken pen in them. I found uh, parts of coat hangers, and I think God, what on earth have people put in this machine? That's probably the reason why, like sometimes, where they give it in because it could make a loud noise or it's not draining very well. Yeah. Just clean out. The, just have a look I a first. Bosch, I had a Bosch. I had that. A Bosch XL or something. Hello guys, Wash Your Lad 2014. Now to find an Ultima from my Hotties range. W. Oh, like the WD70. Wash Your Lad said hello to you. Wash Your Lad? Yeah. Is that Wash Your Lad 2014? Yeah, that's it. Oh, God, I knew his name. Is it. Not Luke, is it? Luke. At, no, it's not. No. I'm really thinking about getting one of these Mealers. Really like. <laughs> they are good, aren't they? Oh. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best. It's the best machine for somebody who wants. I mean, obviously for me, this is my kind of machine. Like. I do like the W ones. But these but... are machines. I've always said that if I wanted a modern machine, this is what I'd go for. I mean, yeah. I don't like the W ones that much, but I would still get one if I if someone said. That's to like me, that's probably like the only modern machine you're probably like. Yeah. If someone said for. to me, you have to get a modern machine. I'm like, oh, like okay. Get me a Miele W1 then. W1 Classic, maybe. I guess. Yeah. The only thing I don't like with those is they are virtually silent. There is literally no sound yeah. whatsoever. Because when I went to the Miele Experience Center, they had them going, and one was spinning. And I turned around and I thought, I can't even hear that. I'm like, Some people, like, a lot of people want that, though, don't they? That's the they, thing with they, these new apartments. It's all open plan living now. And they say, so oh... If something like the Hoover in there, you couldn't do that. Oh, them. yeah. That's the only thing in Australia, because I want to have my machine in the kitchen in Australia, and um, open plan living doesn't work well with noisy machines, because you can hear it. And that's the reason why people like uh, quieter machines, because it's you can have them on that's at the night thing. and all that. Yeah, see, all these machines here I can't use at night, but the Miele I can. Oh, I love them tumbles it does. The Brilliant. tumble. What temperature is it at now? Oh, around, I'd say about 50. I'm listening to the element still. No, that's at 60 now. So just wait for the door to heat with it, it is basically. That's what. Oh, okay. But no, the. Has good times on it. Yeah, that's. It doesn't always go down to 58 minutes. Normally it'll do an hour and 21 for a cotton cycle, but it just can do a 95 wash in an hour and a half. And that's wow. including with an extra rinse. That's can water plus actually up the levels then? Can it actually? There's if right if you get a meal with water plus, I'll tell you in the manual it's got like four different functions you can program it to do. Really? When it came, the water plus added an extra rinse. That's what its default setting is. Because all the, some of these have like the soak uh, is normally two hours when you get it, but yeah. I set it for half an hour because I thought I'm not doing a two hour soak. And I used to do soak all the time. Like, uh, but water plus when you get it it can do so when you get when you get a meal I don't know what you all what if you get one it'll be programmed to do but it does add an extra rinse and the other options are top up the rinse level and an extra rinse or you can do top up water in the main wash and rinse or you can have what I've done it to do top up main wash level rinse level and add an extra rinse oh Sometimes you can, before it detects the load, you can cancel it if you want it to. The only thing is I can't select all... That's good levels. It's almost up to the Yeah, the, the rinse door. levels come up to about there. But that's because it's a small load, though, so the machine knows how much... Yeah. But the only trouble is when you do something like a duvet in there, it doesn't put enough water in there. Mm. Yeah, it's annoying so saying... Take my, my double duvet, I, I did want to put it in this machine, but I thought I'm going to take it to the laundry room. They've got Electrolux, what's this there? The, uh, the round door model, like, okay, I'll look my 1970s model, I thought, okay, I'll use that. Shame I've taken it to Chris's, done it in his shelters. That's another machine I want. <laughs> that shelter, so I like, I oh, like, yeah. I like the look of those. You know them Electrolux commercial ones? They, that It's very similar, that. They still make them similar to Chris's one now. The like, sim SW... Yeah, they they still make yeah. the, the ones they make right now in production like that the set very nice, got. Yeah, they're still making them brand new. He like told me that he said it would fit under your counter. I was like, really? 
Well, that'll be good, wouldn't it? I don't like top loads that you can't see in them. I don't like them. I, I, like, I, like, I like the high efficiency ones. Are you, like, you I can... like some of the speed green ones where you can stick a, like, a pen or a screwdriver in the lock. Now the lid switches inside the machine. So ah. you can't exactly. But I remember out in America, I said I knew the lid switch was behind the lid. So if I stuck something there, it would. Yeah. Chris's next machine will be. Yeah, he's got loads. What was his latest one he got? Was it that speed cream? Was it? Don't know. Yeah, I think it's yeah, I think it's that speed cream one he's got. Yeah. He's got the Viking going. Or something like that. That meter has got the. Dominance. I like it when you the leave w the top open on American top loaders. See the old ones you can. The old ones didn't have a switch. You could yeah. Just keep it going. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Stop doing. We stopped doing the distribution tunnels now. Was it coming soon? Hang on. I heard, I heard a heat. doing a heat retaining step? I didn't know this machine did that. I think I heard it doing that, yeah. No way. It's doing a heat retaining step. I did not know this machine did that. Oh, that's good. I, I thought it was only these machines that did it. Yeah, see the drum squeaks a little bit. But all meters are kind of like that. I'm surprised the bearings haven't gone this yet. Yeah. Because they, they, they say they're like proper sealed bearings. They're not like the ones that are cheap. Oh, no, we are they're still like... doing the distribution tunnels. It stopped for a second, did it? And that's gone back to doing it again. Yeah, yeah. That's like power stream, that is. I bet it reminds me of you like your WMA. To be honest, though, I would say that wash action isn't better than the power. The power stream is great. It does it for a full 30 seconds. Yeah. Or who the new ways to do a spin wash? They spin with the. Wash oh wash. yeah, like the new season, all the old. Yeah, well. and they were old Electrolux's ones. Yeah. They were great. Though. Yeah, they were great. I would have liked a one eight series, like Chris's one eight four two. I remember when when my nan said like um, when years ago when I went to Curry's and it was like. Uh, really um i think i was about six and they were really like intrigued that i was actually like really interested in all these machines yeah i, I think i had like one of the first aquatuses that came out i like the first aquatuses that came oh out. yeah i wanted the washer dryer i would have had that from the... yeah the one the one at bhf where it had a faulty pump that yeah, was... do, you, do you know you all you had to do was take that plinth off and then you could have access to the filter i think it was something i think it was something in the hose actually that's that, that was annoying. That was upsetting, wasn't it? On, but it was something in the hose because there was no. Yeah, if I was there with you at the time, I'd take the plinth for I'd look at the filter what first. Because the face shot, I couldn't even read what was in it, on it. It was so bad, I didn't even know it was a washer dryer. That's how scratched it was. I couldn't even see it yeah. drying. I was like, hang on, is this a washer dryer? Yeah, I knew it was because I could tell it had that little thing in the seal. Yeah, that's the only way you know, really. Yeah. The thing is with me, the washer dryer, there's that stupid black thing. I don't thing. like that. that. The first washer dryer they didn't have it, the, w, the one from the W700 range didn't have it. Then when they brought out the new one, it had that. It's a huge... And the thing is, it's part of the door glass, so you can't actually take it off. Yeah. That's why it's there for a reason, though, because it doesn't take how dry the load is. Which machines were in Curry's? Oh, I, I remember there was a few... I think I did see a WMA or something like that when I was... You know what? First machine I remember in Curry's, I remember when these were still in Curry's. Really? I saw the very last of these machines. Because they had one called the Millennium Edition, which came up, it was like the last of the WMs. I remember that being there. Then I remember when the WMAs first came in, I was like, what are these machines? I like that because it reminds me of my Nan's WM52. Yeah, we had the WM51 we did. Oh, man, that was great. First machine we had was a Maloney I think, it, I think it sparked or something like that, and then it then they got that Bosch I Classic. One. I think a pump went on it. Yeah, and obviously a pump one on it. And the I leaves. remember I put it on J. I put it on Program J, and it started leaking. Oh. And, I, and I had to put a new seal on it. But then I think a few months, I think about Lily a year oh, later, and then it made that horrible spark, and then it completely dead. When someone's on these old machines, when one thing goes wrong, everything's, and that's what's happened with the Hoover. One thing's gone wrong, and that everything's following with it. Yeah. 
It won't be long before I've got a report. First quarter's came in April 2006. It's scary how they're 12 year old now. That is actually quite scary that they are. Yeah. Like the WMAs are almost considered classic now they are, but yet they were so futuristic. Oh. Well, I'm going to try and do, I'm going to do that in front of the 9530. Come on. <laughs> I don't mind, it's just sometimes I've been like on my phone. I understand though, because like I get quite scared. Like I've been talking to someone. Open, like the door open, because when I was really young, there was um, a toy washing machine and the door was open. I was playing around with it, it just suddenly started on its own. It scared me so much. Shame we, couldn't, shame we couldn't use my spin dryers. They're all on the shed at the moment. Yeah, I get a bit scared. Um, the some some, some of the Hoover spin dryers. You know on a spin dryer when you press the button, it's got a weight to stop the Hoover on jacket. Oh, yeah. You've got to lift the lid to stop it. Yeah. So you can literally reach into it while it's still spinning. Okay. You've probably got some off the floor. Yeah, it's definitely um, 60. This will do the final spin in one go. It won't do all the burst because it's, it's cut it down to a very yeah, short that's time. That's lovely action, man. And what I like with the spins, the spins are very much like a vintage machine. They ramp up fast. It ramps up quite fast. So that's what it doesn't do that. You know like what Beko or Bosch do, like re, or Hot Point, a really slow progressive spin. Oh yeah. This on a light load will go up quite fast. Some sort of do it Hot Point style. It'll go up like to like nine hundred. Sorry for you guys putting something in the chat. I can't see them like this, but I just really want to see it up close. Oh, yeah, there I'm you go. See, have you used an extension to get it over there then? It's on an extended hose, yeah. Yeah. You remember what the hot point you used? It's come across here, but I stuck it around the back instead. I thought I'd rather the meal connect to the sink, and then I keep these here because I know that I don't keep these in all the time. Yeah, so yeah. Just unhook it, pull the machine out. So that's, that's, that's in the permanent... Yeah, that's where the Mila used to be here. Yeah. But what I didn't like was the fact that when the door opened on the Mila, it would hit, because Mila's opened this way, yeah. and all these machines opened the other way, and I thought I didn't like the fact they were hitting each other. Yeah. And my mum's got a habit, see the bottom door of the oven, she's got a habit of swinging that open half, and a few times it hit the door on the hot point, I was like, no, nah, not having that, that's going to break. Yeah. This is the only thing I don't understand, why does the pump go on and off? I know. Oh, you can hear that and you can hear that little whining, yeah. Well, like me, the pumps, they're not too loud, though. They're just a nice, quiet sort of... You'll hear the pump on Oh, you hear that? You hear that little sort of mini chug there? It tries to. Yeah. It tries to. It tries to. And you, you do a bit of a long... Like 10 I'm seconds. obsessed with keeping these pumps clean. I'm That's obsessed. What I've also got lime scale, but I've broken it down quite a bit, the lime scale on there. Yeah. You can hear it's trying. Here we are. Here so we are going to distribution now. You think it'll probably spin that? Yeah, I think yeah, it'll spin that. Well, yeah, that balance is a little bit lenient on this. Oh, that sound. 250. It'll ramp up quite quickly now. Brilliant. It's not too loud. It's, it's a it. DC motor. So yeah. It's, so it's quite. See, so it goes up like vintage style. Goes up quite quickly. I like that. I like it. When it goes like right up. Like we hit a thousand. Around. It hits a thousand, then it goes back down to nine hundred. So a thousand. And so what my Samsung does, I think it goes up to about 400 or so, like 300 or something. It goes down to distribution, then it goes all the way up to 1,000, and then it slows down again, then it does the next rinse. It doesn't mess around like hot point machines where they do that stupid first. 300, you go 300, 300, 300. No, 300, Samsung 600. don't do that. It, it just does, I think, about 300 or oh, 400 first, and then it goes up to the maximum, and then it slows down. But if you put easy iron on, it will do the, the spray with the jet for about, I think, 10 seconds and then it will slow down. I think it gets up to about The old meters, like the W800 series, their progressive spin, it started right from distribution and it would slowly climb from distribute all the way up to 900. It was. It holds it for about three minutes. So you get quite a good spin on this, actually. I just wish these machines did spin fills, like it started filling with water all the way from 900. Oh, yeah. The, uh, what machines do that? The, 
ball, ball connect ones do that. They got to a thousand and they fill with water on the, the jet system it is, all the way from a thousand all the way down. Oh. I can make it on my Samsung from from the maximum speed, I can change it. If I hit without then... spin on that it will, but then it adds an extra rinse, it's the only thing it does. Oh. But I normally do it with towels though, when there's I do it with great sub swap. That's got to be the smoothest motor I've ever heard though. But hardly any vibration at all. Even when it's really unbalanced, like the machine it creaks a little bit, but these machines are very heavy, aren't they? Like that one, I think, is about 97 kilograms. I think the W1's like 110 or something. W1's are the he uh, what machine? The Dyson Contra rotator is 104. I don't know why that machine's so heavy. Yeah, it's too. And then the old, you know, the old AEGs, like the 1980s, yeah. they're about 150 kilograms. Those ones. Because they've got like, even the old Zanussi, like the Zanussi wash cross, because they've got one massive weight on top and then they've got one around the front as well. Wow. And of course, they are, and go. Oh, like that. It's almost, it'll tumble while it does that as well. There you go. I like it uses the jet. That's what I like as well. I guess it helps to like clean all the rubbish from yeah. glass as well. And it, um, it fills through the back of the drawer, it does. So it doesn't, it's not actually filling through the drawer, it fills through the back compartment of the drawer. See, I've actually taken the drawer off and seen it. Hang on. I'll take that out. It's not actually filling through the drawer. If you look in the back, you can see it going through the back of the drawer. Oh, yeah. So it's just, that's what it does there. Oh, I've got a bit of water in there. I mean, with the, some of the mealers, they do like, four, like that, uh, I can't remember which model, but it fills all through the glass. Oh, there is one. I think the washer dryers do, I think the washer dryers do that. Remember that, you know the one with the comfort face you one, you know that model with oh, the big God. door? Oh! The toy one, you know that toy? The W4000 one, yeah. is it? Like oh, the one that I had in BHF? Yeah, that's it. If my nan had waited yeah, one it. more day, oh. I'd have got that. And she bought a Samsung Eco Bubble. I said to her, if you waited one more day. I love that. I, I I know like some people I know that don't like them that design. I love that design. Yeah, I don't like it. The only reason I didn't ever get a angled fascia one is because it doesn't look good under a counter because the machine's got to stick out yeah. quite a bit. I, I really like them though. They really, yeah, I think they're really are, nice. Machine machine. Are, I don't know what they're a combination of modern and vintage in one. That's what they are. They're like they're not all what they are. So just just bust the door oh, somewhere. That's a good level. The rinse is about, oh, yeah. I think they're about seven minutes on these ones. Normally, if it doesn't detect a full, it takes a full load of ten minutes. It's a good level. It's not machines all weights that they are. I've never had a problem with this machine rinsing though. Never have. That's one. Even when I use four mil detergent, now that's saying something, that machine's handled it well. Look at the W1s as well, you can change the wall levels on them as well, yeah. the settings. You can actually like pull it up to max. The W700 ones, and like the 1980s models, they had a switch under the drawer, and if you, like, it was a secret switch, but someone found it, and if you just pull, if you moved it, it would increase the water level. Oh, wow. AGs, like the, the Oco Lavamats, they had something in their drawer. It was an extra rinse button or something. I don't, I don't know why it was there, but yeah, they had hidden... Um, these machines, the WM range, do you know that has a service cycle to it? Does it? Yeah, Crystal, but I think you've got to plug something into the machine. Well, I was like, what? I said, they, and he said, yeah, he said, because of their microprocessor control. I was like, wow, I said, I didn't know that they had that. I was like, wow, okay. Yeah, on the Samsung Quick Drive, it's very, they changed the cert that how to get into service mode. You have to go into the Quick Component Test first. Then you have to go into service mode. That does have a service cycle, but I tried out the spins. It still has the out of balance sensor enabled. Oh. But I think the ones like Lewis's one wouldn't enable it. They have they have their proper service cycle. I oh, like the one that, that new one on eBay. No, yeah, that that'll have it. And that one you can um, you can modify the spin speed on that one. Oh really? Yeah, this one I wish I could. I, so I could probably modify it to do 1600 I, wanted to, I, I wish this one we could have done it, because I would have made this machine do 1500 or something. Because that motor in there can take up the 1600. That can, really? I think all me is are fitted with the same motor, really. Like brush motors, I think yeah. they're all fitted with one stand. But like, the modules are yeah. different to... Like, it. these hot points and that one, they're all fitted with motors that can handle up to 1200. I didn't realize, it's only the 800 models that have their own motor. 
Ah. But the 900 to 1200 models all have a 1200 motor in them. Oh, wow. That's how I got this one. I only did 1100, and I pulled the regular the re uh, resistor off the control board, and it can be 1200. So that's how that machine can, yeah. Oh, wow. Chris told me you could do it, and then uh, saw another collector, James Rankin, he said to me, Supermatic James, he said to me, you know how easy it is? I said, just take the lid off. I said, look for the white plug on your control board, just pull it off. Oh. He said to me, your machine will do 1200. I was like, what? I said, it will, it will spin, it's, yeah, it will do 1000 and go up to 1200. I was like, okay. I tried it, I was like, wow. <laughs> but what's quite sad, the machine that Janet's got, it's uh, the same, my great aunt had the exact same one. Really? She threw it out because it had a blocks pump. I was just like, where's the sense in that? And then she got that one she got now, the bearings fell in the ear on it. And she still uses it with collapsed bearings. What, what one is it? What, what is it? Hotpoint WDF740. So. Oh, is that? Oh, I think I've seen a video on it's that. It's like an Insta one, yeah. Yeah. But she uses it like that and lets it go to 14 under. But I don't bearing. Yeah, it thinks sounds like a fighter jet taking off in the back. That's why I saw the hot point. I'm like, nah, nah, I can't be bothered with all this. But the engineer who fixed it didn't know what he was doing because the first time he, he told her, oh, the reason your machine's making that noise is because the concrete weight has come loose. I told her, I said to her, I said, to her, I said no, I said, if your concrete weight come loose, I said, you'd know, is it because your machine would be dancing all over the laundry room? I said, yeah, exactly. I said, it would be shaking quite, it would be making a rattling sound. I said, that is the bearings that have gone. But obviously it's a sealed tub, so they can't. That's annoying, isn't it? I don't get why she got a washer dryer and never once has used the dryer on it. <laughs> they take their dry, drying, their washing to the laundry up the road. I'm like, I'm like you've got a washer dryer. I'm just like, don't forget, it might catch fire. Yeah. Yeah, like that one that I tested. I don't know what. I don't know what. Oh, that is that. scary, isn't it? That is that is scary. Seeing that. Well, the second intermediate spin. But someone told me um, that it might have, because they said to me that machine wasn't doing fourteen hundred. They said that machine was doing sixteen hundred. They said that was too fast to be fourteen hundred. I said, yeah. I said it. Lo it looked too fast because it was going up in stages. And I, I said, I'm, I said that's doing at least fifteen hundred. They said, yeah. They said that someone's also modified that machine in a way it's not meant to have been. What, the one that catch fire? Yeah, the what's it, WDL5490. It's a 1400 model. But I even knew when it was spinning, it had an inverter motor for one, and it had a, it, it, it was doing faster than 1400. So like, that isn't 1400. Because it was going up like 1400, 1500, yeah, 1600. Yeah, they must have modified it something then. I should have been there to see what happened. I think it catched fire, definitely. Yeah. I don't know what, it self-destructed it, dude. Like, it, the, the door seal spring had come through the door seal. It's made out of that enamel, isn't it? Enamel, yeah. yeah. Enamel coating. That's, I've, I've shown many times to people, I've got a coin, and they hit the front of the machine with it, so you can't scratch it. That is brilliant. If you did it with this, you'd scratch it, but that. That is brilliant. If I could, I'd like to get all these coated in enamel, if I could, really. Here, really. Oh my god, that's yeah, there we go. It was like, no, nope. normally the machine does three attempts, and on the third one, it will give up and spin unless it's like Dangerous. really unbalanced. Then it will, it will try again. But what I find is when it's unbalanced, it will ramp up faster because it's run, running out of time. Oh, yeah, although the machine can hold it on 23 minutes for like another 10 minutes if it wanted to. That's the second attempt. It looks a bit unbound, but I'm sure the machine will spin that. Yes. Funny. It'd be funny if it did. No. Last minute the machine knew. The one thing I like, it doesn't do what hot points do when they stop and throw themselves back into this. Oh, they changed it though. They, it, they, it doesn't do it one. anymore now, does it? No, it, 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 after about f it, well, the first attempt, after the, after it's drained, it would it would stop and then it would go the other way. Yeah. And then it will redistribute and it would do that about three times. That the classic intercept intercept one, and then it will stop and then it will do a long. Do you know one thing? Um, Everyone thinks that balancing system originated from an intercept machine. It originated from these. This machine does it. Really? It will try and spin up while it's distributing. Yeah. That's not balanced again. I think it'll spin that, yeah. It will. That's not too bad. See, it handles it brilliantly. 
miners, you can hear the shock absorbers going. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah. Yeah, how fast that goes up. Oh, wow. I, I like the sound of Miguel Ramos as well. Yeah. Because it's not whiny, it's a re it's like a vintage sort of sound. That's a beautiful sound. Yeah, yeah. Hardly, literally nothing now. I've even unleveled this machine once to see what it did. It didn't even shake that much. It just shook a little bit and that was it. Wow. Aside from the time when I did that proof of quality test, this machine has never once moved from its spot. Oh, that was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a good machine for... It's a 6 kilogram model, but I mean, it, we, it's half the time we don't even fill it up that much. Well, my, na my Nan's Zanussi Limbo 100, it's got, it says it's six, 6 kilogram, same as yours, but it's, it's so tiny. Spin, that was. It only has one paddle in it. Yeah, it's, got, it's a one paddle machine. <laughs> Literally, I, I, I'll try and send you pictures next time I go around there. Literally, it's got the smallest drum ever, and one it's got paddle. One, one paddle. It's got one paddle in it. I'm like, that, that looks ridiculous. The first time I ever seen it, I was like, one paddle? I was like, am I seeing this right? This machine would normally go, it would normally now go onto the finer rinse. These machines are default two rinses, but Water Plus has added. So this one will stop and it will tumble back and forth probably because it's now got to switch it from the drawer back to the door. There, it's trying to chug, I can hear it. Yeah. It might do a bit of anti-tank there, see, it tumbles a bit. Oh yeah, so it's changing it It's now. changing because the machine's realised I'm not going, I'm going onto the final rinse now, I've got to go back to a normal rinse. They are, and that door's back. And this, this rinse is only like five minutes long. I love that jet. I, I, I like keep saying, but I the love The thing is, all meters have the same filling sound. They all sound like that when they fill. It's the way the, the... But our water pressure is higher than that. Meters have something that restricts the flow of water or something. I don't know what it is. But... Oh, really? Because they all fill the same way. But when you'll hear the cold water on this is really high. But on this one, I can't put it full there because it all comes out the drawer. Because oh, the drawer can't. Uh, well, I remember you can't you can't take out the drawers on them. When yeah, because it pre-wash, conditioner at the back, main wash, but they're all. I don't hate the old Samsungs. I don't, I, I don't oh, really mind that weird door. I got they they're ugly. The old old ones, I hate them. But the, the new the new ones, I, I don't mind. I can the only thing I don't like is they've them. tinted all the doors on new machines now. So oh. AG but then I, still not. AG I, gu I guess the reason they do that now is probably to look at your kitchen so that people don't see all the washing and the as well, And as well when um, like kids and all that, if they're touching like the glass and... Yeah, like Janet's one, he's got the protective cover. But when yeah. I get that, I'm going to remove that because if I get a washer dryer, it's, it's there because obviously the door glass gets really hot on the drying cycle. That's quite, it's like a medium level that is that rinse. Yeah. It's pretty clear that water as well. That's saying it's time for Tide. Yeah, it's Tide can be something like it. And in Amina it is as well. Oh, you can hear the little... Squeak, squeak. Yeah. It only does it going anti-clockwise though. It doesn't do it going the other way. I wonder who's on still on here. Let's see if I look at the I chat. Seen, I haven't seen anyone on there yet. Three people. Matthew was on. Matthew Bosch Classic was on. Washing Washer Channel. Lewis was on there. I don't know if it's still on. It doesn't tell you who's on. Um, That's what I like with Instagram though. Instagram tells you. <laughs> Lewis put what the fuck? Just had a massive battle cop and just came. What is it? What is this about? This this viral thing that everyone keeps sending about the power bar. What is? I don't exactly know what was it. Adam who said it. I think so. I don't 